today I'm showing you how I remove and replace my equipment in midwater. It's one of my favourite skills to teach and also for me to practice as well. It's always a good idea to practice skills in midwater, um, as this is where you will be when scuba diving. You're not going to be planted on the bottom, um, you're going to be in midwater. So first things first, just concentrate on your breath. Always the first step when you're going to begin something under the water. So this clears your mind and brings you back to buoyancy control, which is the foundation to everything. In order to complete anything effectively, you first need buoyancy control. Your aim is to become neutrally buoyant. So you should be moving up and down slightly with your breath, inflating your lungs going slightly up and deflating your lungs sinking slightly. So now once you're, you have this control, you can begin the skill. So start by unclipping your chest strap. Always start with this one because it's very easy to forget about it. <laughs> You'll end up strangling yourself. I've done it many a times. Move down to your waist strap and unclip. And then your Velcro strap if you have one. Move back to your shoulder straps. Do not unclip, only loosen. This is to make it easy for removal and replace of your BCD. So no T-Rex arms. It's important to follow a sequence of unclipping so that you're not just randomly unclipping parts of your equipment. It means you're more organised. Structure always helps in all skills. Find where your primary second stage sits. This is the side where you'll be removing your equipment. And this is usually on the right hand side. Remove your left arm and then use your left hand to hold the right hand shoulder of your BCD to drag it round from the right. It's very important this part. You're always going to drag it from the area where your primary stage comes from. And this is to stop any tangling. Uh, when you bring it round, keep it close to your body. Here, I'm messing around a little. I'm doing a bit of knee surfing, okay? But just remember to always keep it close because this is going to give you better buoyancy control. Do not rush to put it back on. Float for a while. Go back to your breath. Once you are clear again and you're in control of your buoyancy, then begin to replace. Remind yourself where your primary second stage sits. In this case, again, the right-hand side. You can see how I use my left hand to keep open the right-hand shoulder strap. I can then easily slide my hand through the shoulder strap. And as I'm doing this, I'm turning my body, which allows me to lay on the BCD continuing to turn this turning of my body allows the bcd to wrap around my body so as my left arm can find the shoulder strap a lot easier i'm also turning to get myself back into a horizontal position being in a horizontal position will give me again better control once here stop for a bit breathe again gain control over your buoyancy again because all this movement under the water will disrupt your buoyancy, uh, which is why it's important to slow down and take each step one at a time. So have loads of breaks, okay? Once you have control, begin to clip yourself together. I start with my Velcro strap around my waist. And before clipping the waist strap, I find my SPG so I can clip it against my body. Okay, I then move to my shoulder straps and I secure the BCD to fit my body. Last but not least, that beautiful chest strap is secured. The very last thing to check is that everything is in its place. So the SPG is secure and in place. It's in a place I can reach it and read it. My alternate air source is secure and it's in a place I can reach it. My inflator and deflator hose is in easy reach and not tangled. As well as my primary, it's also clear and not tangled. So this is a big part of the skill, securing and organising your equipment so that everything is organised and in easy reach for use. It's very important to be organised under the water because things happen so quickly, you need to have quick and easy access. 